What is going on guys? It is Bob back here playing some Skyrim and we are at the Twilight Specula. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Right here. And we gotta speak to the nightingale. And yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes, man. We're already here. We're ready to take on these bastards, kill them. What's up, son? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. You're Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the, the key. key. You have the skeleton key. I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this to get rich. <laughs> <laughs> You've done the guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia? Carlia. She's still alive? Yeah. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. Guess I'm not doing it alone, huh? And I can't do it alone. Slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the Edenair and replacing the key. Okay. Good luck, Nightingale. Let's go then. I wonder who the hell we're going to face today, huh? Oh, 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 oh,
What up, son? Boom! Kill that fucking go. It's like a what? Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, that sun is evil. It kills the nocturnal. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and quick save this just because I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Okay. Honestly thought that probably would have killed me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. What do I... What the... Where the hell am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. I know that. Oh, freak yeah. Okay, so. Oh, that's just taking me to Espen's. What the hell is that shit? Okay. I'm totally lost, guys. Follow the pilgrim's path. What fucking path is that? I just don't know. This is... a lever to open this thing up. Oh my goodness. You've got to be shitting me. Gosh. It's getting hot in this room.
Oh, what the hell? Okay, so I walked in here. Uh huh. La 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 la. la. It opens up. But how do we get it to open up? Aha! I knew we'd figure it out. There you go, boys. I'm trying to outsmart us. I'm trying to play the old trick or Oh, God. Okay, so. Good thing we had this beautiful thing called the sprint. Voice of Emperor. Damn! Our buoy traps all up in this. Twilight Sanctum. Okay. Dude, I can't believe we're already at level freaking 17, guys. I mean, it's like we level leveling up each episode, man. That's what we do. <laughs> oh god. I don't think I was supposed to... Okay. I can't, I can't believe it, I came all this way and solved all those ridiculous riddles just to end up here after I memorized some stack here, I don't, uh, I hope someone comes by soon, I'm getting hungry. Well, shit. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the... But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, 
and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, See to it that you stay this time, won't you? <laughs> What the? Carlyle, where the hell did you come from? Glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Please? She sounded different. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming a agent of Nocturnal? What the, the hell is that? At the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Hmm. Why can't I be all this three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities. You can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Well, your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things. But actually, the beginning. The beginning of or what? Perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. <laughs> there are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. you become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Yes, Nightingale? What is it? Um, okay, um, so that just happened. And also something I just realized. Uh, I did a pretty boner move, okay? I didn't have my headset plugged in, okay? And I had the TV on with the volume and the mics on. So I'm not sure how that's going to sound. So I apologize now. I'm apologizing right now for what that sounds like because it's probably a terrible echo. And if you made it through, I'm con congratulations. And if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. I mean... I mean, you just got you just got tough it out, I guess. Cause I mean, I I'm not gonna be like, hey, let's change it, cause I I, I freaked up, man. I messed up, and I'm sorry. But you know, that's just what happens, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go we're gonna go find. Actually, we're gonna go to the College of Winterhold. We're gonna do that first, okay? We're gonna get some more magic skills on us, you know what I'm saying? Because what's more important? Magic or Espen? Magic. We'll find Espen in a little bit. Then we're probably gonna go see the Dawn Guard. Actually, we're gonna go see the Dawn Guard first, okay? We're gonna go see them first because we gotta become vampire hunters now.
first lessons. Alright, let's look like we're apparel. Not any girl, son. Oh, weapons. Okay, let's let, let's change our weapons, man. We can't be looking. Chris, where I saw some. Oh no! I think the college is due for the change. I hear a dragon. Ah! Change of plan, guys. Looks like we gotta fight this dragon first. Did you hear something? Yeah, it's a damn dragon. Oh boy, you bastard. Quit freaking stalking us in this fight, dude. What is he doing? What the hell is he doing? Okay, then how about a little bit? Come on, land on the ground. Let's fight like a man. Okay.
we go, son. Now how the hell do we get up there? What the frick? I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes. I'm simply trying to understand the reason behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your death. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's gotta be a way to go up there though. I need that soul. I need that dragon soul bad. I'm talking about bad. Well, hell with it. Screw it. Welcome to the college. Another new student. Yep. I'm surprised at how many yep. there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Let's do it. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. Okay, let's see what apparel they have. Novice hood. So that's that's the hood we were looking for a while back. This son of a bitch. Okay, and Interhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the hall and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Okay, so Drop Drop Drop. Drop. Oh, my God. After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. Yeah. Well, I mean, this tour is turning out really terrible. Okay, so guys, we've literally done some cool shit today, man. We've went to the Our freaking. Members are housed here in the hall of the <sighs> getting interrupted. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside. Others <sighs> may be working on research or delicate experiments. Well, we went to the freaking Nightingale place. We killed the dragon. We're at the college today. I mean, we're making some moves, man. We're making some Skyrim now moves. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. 
This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where mo the members gather for lectures and study sessions. I'm always going to take that gold. Ay, ay. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. No, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. All right. All right. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Tolfdir. Tolfdir. just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we should try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with war. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Uh, yes, sir. Are you at all familiar with ward spells? That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Awesome. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over the... Okay. He's just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else Ten to wait. services. Now, I would have a few more spell things that and keep us in touch with the rest of Sky. <laughs> You have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. 
Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing the ward. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarsal nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Skyrim could not be more Skyrim different from elsewhere, but magic, you give an old magic man is the same. All right, so we did our first lessons over here at the college, the College of Winterhold. So we're just trying to learn some moves. That's all we're trying to do, man. That's all we're trying to do. So where am I supposed to meet this guy at? Okay. Well, guys, I believe that is all we have time for for today. Next episode, we're probably going to be doing some other crazy stuff. We might, um, I don't know, we might go join the Vampire Hunters. We might, you know, do a little bit more of the college. We might go find Espen, finally. You know, we've been looking for his ass for a while, even though we know where he's at. But we just haven't took the time to take it and go freaking break it. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I apologize earlier for... The audio. Reforming the dawn god. Vampire hunters or something. God. Damn. Every single time these people want to interrupt me. I'm getting sick of it. What do you need? But yeah, guys. I will talk to you next time. Peace.